And we're back after that awesome game one where Extremis just Three went straight down back. Frank's throat and took it from him. Took their throat. They won the game one in the best of three set in this final in the Southeast Asia qualifier to the qualifier to the major. So this is game two. Already pretty much through the draft here. Just in the second bang phase, we'll just go over what we have. Uh, once again, I'm Pythian, going to be casting this match for you. Should be loads of fun. Got the Bane in the Faceless Void already picked up for Extremist. Uh, interesting, we haven't seen the Faceless Void too much in this event, but uh, the time dilation looks pretty ridiculous, actually, on paper. Especially when you consider that once Dazzle used to go to the Grave, he probably won't get another one for quite a while. Same with the Tusk. Meanwhile, Frank has picked up the Tusk and the Dazzle. Two heroes that they have played quite a bit. The Invoker got banned out in the second phase. Wasn't picked up by Extremist. We also won't be seeing the Queen of Pain in this matchup. Nor the Darkseer. Quick Disruptor ban and Gyrocopter pick. Gyrocopter. Pretty good hero. Usually Frank is okay with playing against it, but now they're going to give it to themselves. Extrem is going to pick up Razor. Pretty interesting. Um, I guess the Razor can do well against Tusk. And also can make some waves outside of that chronosphere. Same with the Bane. Bane can work outside of it. So that's something that could go well for Extremist. Five seconds remaining. As we said already, Extremist already up one to nothing in the series. So one win here would give them the set. Whereas a win for Frank would send them to a deciding game three. Team pick. Wind Ranger is a pickup for Frank to complement that gyrocopter. I guess that's going to be Abbott's hero. He's played pretty well. Although in the last match, a tiny wasn't enough to win the match. They just shut down that invoker in the early game, but even that wasn't enough. Honestly, I don't even think that the Terrible was the right pick there. Even though he did get free farm, but Ten it wasn't enough, even ready. with that. It was interesting the decision by Extremis to not even send anybody to that off lane. And I think it may have been a mistake to keep the Oracle up there for so long. In any case, here we are in the game two, looking through the draft. I'm still here. Chen. All right, interesting. We've got the Chen pick up here. It does go with that color scheme of blue and purple for Extremist Dota 2. Color scheme Dota is definitely a goal of a lot of teams. Shit. 
All right, so the vengeful spirit and the brood mother were banned out. Ten seconds. Happy Wednesday to all of you. 8 a.m. over here in the States. Been streaming for about eight hours, even though we had to shut the stream down for a couple minutes to put a delay on it as we got into the uh, the lobbies. They got, they put us into the lobbies. So we are feeling pretty tired here. But we're going to keep trucking through this grand final. Putting a little bit of hype into it. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. And Frank going to go with that Phoenix. Team pick. We did see a Phoenix before in this event. I think it lost. So maybe Frank want to make this a quickie. Luna. And Luna is going to be the last pickup. So we're going to see more of a utility void here from Extremist. Played by H God. And well, all the heroes are getting picked up by the players and we're going to get They're going to get started on this match number two in the best of three set. Getting ready to get started over here. And I'm ready for them to get started. Ten seconds. Because uh, sleep would be pretty nice at this point. We're going to cast this for you guys just because we're nice and stuff. Prepare for battle. So we're going to get started on this matchup. We've got four Frank down one game in this best of three. Already getting smoked up. We've got a bed. On the Wind Ranger, Bocarino on the Phoenix, Minerva playing that Dazzle again, uh, Godot's going to be on the Tusk, if we can click him, there we go. And finally, Gyrocopters, played by Zha 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 Zha. Um, they're going to be smoked up, going to that high ground. They could catch up the Razor, played by Shiki. And um, all right, they're going to see him. Here comes the snowball. Everybody's in. The dive is going to get canceled by the Phoenix, and they're going to go right in with the Rocket Barrage, but that's underneath the tower, and they don't want to go that far. Meanwhile, to finish off the lineup, we've got Oheb played by the Bane. A word's going to get placed down in the hard camp. I'm trying to ward off that Chen played by Mad. Um, QZ is going to be on the Luna. Luna! And finally, we've got uh, H God on the Faceless Void. So we're going to get started in our ma on our match here. Um, they're going to give the runes to the mids, as always. The battle begins. Every Gold point helps. is a great conductor. And uh, we're going to get right into this matchup. All right, so we're going to have the gyrocopter and the dazzle in the bottom lane up against H God, playing that faceless void. And Mad, already looking at those ancients. Interesting. Matchup in the mid lane is going to be Razor versus Wind Ranger, and the Phoenix, played by Bacarino, is up against the Luna no. and the Bane in the top lane. Of course, the Tusk assisting the Phoenix. Oh, H got already putting so much damage onto Minerva. What's he got in there? And Shen is starting off with the hard camp on the right side, since he knows that his hard camp is uh, already awarded. The Phoenix pretty low already. And H God trying to uh, 
hang out in that bottom lane. He doesn't have too much in the way of XP as Ja 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 doing pretty well. Look at the XP. I mean, sorry, last hits up for you here. So, um, all right, nice camera there. Already doing well. Casting a lot of match through the last couple days, and it's only con going to continue as the main event qualifiers start up tomorrow. Um, Luna already leading the last hits now with the Razor not too far behind. HS God just kind of sitting in that bot lane. All right, he's got that flat cannon up. He's gonna buy those boots, and the faceless void continuing to do the harass to the gyrocopter. Here comes the rocket barrage. The uh, j the uh, faceless void goes to the other side with the time hop, and he will get out. A little bit questionable use there. Um, Mad going to be harassed a little bit by Godot. The center is almost down, and Godot could get stomped on. Stomp is gonna miss. Minerva almost level 3. We'll get it there. Razor comes out with a nuke. And... Well, just a couple heroes going around the map here. Gyrocopter doing pretty well in that bottom lane, though. Siki uh, ranging out the Wind Ranger in the mid lane, uh, using that only one level into the static lane so far though. Shen continuing to have to be creative around the map. He's still only level one. The wording on the cams really hurting him. Gado rotated over to the mid lane. He does need to be careful on that razor. He could even have help from the sports. As a Chen could come in. Chen, walking over to the mid lane. And actually, Chen's gonna farm the Radiant Jungle. So, Chen trying to find his levels here. Wording definitely hurt him, as did the Tusk. So, he doesn't think his jungle is uh, safe anymore. Razor gonna nuke down that Wind Ranger. And Minerva's gonna find a bounty rune. And Chen's gonna oh Chen's Chen's gonna steal it. Chen's oh oh he leaves it for the Oh no, he's just gonna take it. Now the now the Wind Ranger has to run away. Nobody wants that bounty rune there and that let's see. Chen go and take it. Um H got taking a lot of damage in the bottom. There's a time dilation. And he's going to stay alive for a little bit. Uh, ja, 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 taking a lot of damage. There's the healing salve. Um, Gyrocopter going to be safe, though. As is the Faceless Void with the help of the Fairy Fire. Pretty legit item there. Uh, Godot coming in from the side. Uh, there's a double damage rune on the Razor. You do not want to go in on that. Oh, there's a First Blood. Oh, by the Luna. Sorry, I saw Razor for a second. Shit. Well, Luna gets the first blood with the help of the Bane and the Nightmare. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Age God going right into Ja 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 Ja. Has that time hop away. He will use it. And now there's a TP back on the mid onto the top lane for the Phoenix. Still only level four right now. Absolutely not. And. You know, H got hanging in there on the bot. Abed holding his own up against that Razor on the mid lane. And Razor hasn't really been using the link at all. Um, Flat Cannon doing a little bit of damage on the bottom lane. That's one thing you really have to work with that time hub so that the void can't get out of all of that damage. Tusk goes into the Roshan. 
Uh, Bane rotating around again. Uh, could get caught out. Phoenix, nope. He'll be fine. They're just going to back up. This Chen at level 4 now, so he's doing a bit better. And he still has a smoke in his inventory. Um, Razor beating out the Wind Ranger on the mid lane. Wind Ranger going to pop that Illusion Rune. Immediately gets those taken away by the Razor. And here comes the Nightmare onto the Phoenix. Phoenix has that dive available. And they're going to wait. Oh. Phoenix trying to get out, but it doesn't work there. Um, the stun comes out from the Lucent Beam. And that's just not really well played at all by the Phoenix. Maybe not so familiar on that hero. Chen doing well with his little army there. And right now, Frank haven't gotten a kill on the map. So they're not really getting that early game dominance that they're used to. And now the Chen army on the top lane. They're ready to push this in, especially with the Luna providing that aura. Um, Bane takes a couple of hits from the tower. And now a Phoenix going to slow down some of the attack speed. Uh, Wind Ranger a little bit low there. Goes back in on Shiki. Um, Shiki stays alive. I mean, not in danger really at all. Avoid doing everything you can to stay alive on the bottom lane. And uh, Age God try, could catch out the Gyro there. Gyro doing pretty well. Catch, staying with the Luna in terms of CS. And now Luna. Um, just going to farm on that top lane. Gyrocopter with a double damage. Could go in on H God. H God has the time thing aw available. Here's the call down. Won't hit on the H God. H God just going to time walk out of it. Oh, but he still has that double damage. Fiend's grip onto the uh, gyrocopter, and the the chronosphere is going to be utilized. Brain Sap finishes off the gyrocopter, so he's going to stay there and go down three kills for Extremis right off the bat. And now here comes rotation. Dazzle. Poison touch onto the Luna. Oh, here comes the Supernova. They can't go in on this. Um, Chen trying to get out. And we'll get out of that AoE of the Sun, as does Luna. And now here comes the Phoenix right back in. Here's the Fire Spirit 1. Fire Spirit 1 misses. The second one doesn't, though. Uh, Frank in trouble. Slows down the attack speed of the Luna. Nice grave, but now Dazzle. Couldn't hang in the balance. And the uh, Luna will finish off the Phoenix as well. So that's a two for one on the top lane. Putting off a bit more than they can chew there, but at least they have a kill. Uh, Shiki getting a little bit low on the mid lane. There's a power shot. Oh, it's going to miss. Guess it's the wrong way. Now Abin going to eat that fairy fire. A snowball comes through. Goes on to the Bane. Bane trying to get into this. The... Static field enough to take out the Wind Ranger. Too far in there. Maybe Frank choking a little bit. They're trying to get too much here. And they really want to try to get back into this game, but it's not really working as well for them. Gyrocopter going in on that bottom tower. Um, Age God takes a little bit of the Dazzle heal there, and he's going to time walk it off. Radiance giving a new meaning to the term of walk it off, I guess. Um, in the top lane, Luna going in onto the Phoenix, TP in from the Tusk. They could try to find something here, Nightmare onto the Tusk. And Phoenix going in on the Luna. Luna taking a lot of damage, but the Phoenix needs to be careful. Luna could turn right about around, but there is a Supernova. Has to use it. Luna not able to use the Lucent Beam on that one. And Tusk not going to find the Luna there. The Luna just backs up every single time. There's a Fiend's Grip onto Abbott. Abbott going to try to run away. Doesn't happen. Brain Sap finishes her off. Middle tower is under attack. Dyer's
Um, here comes the Chronosphere, and the time duration goes on to Minerva. Um, Gyrocopter uses the call down. Could do some damage to age, but, but the time walk going to take some of it off. Um, oh, Gyrocopter getting away on three health. Regening up. Will he get out? Seeky comes in. Oh man, he's gonna get the TP. Gets the Plasma Field down. But here's the Shackle Shot. Seeky going down. Double kill for the Razor. And now, H God trying to get away. He has that time walk. Time walk gets away. Uh, power shot. Will it be on the mark? He's trying to juke to the left. Will he get there? Oh! Misses just right. Radiance middle tower is under and then attack. QZ comes in with the Luna. Radiant Two for one on the bottom lane. Fortified. Shan pushing in the top. Radiance top tower is under attack. And Luna's just gonna farm some of these creeps. Radiance top tower has fallen. All right. Well, let's take a let's get these last hits out of here. We don't need those. Uh, Luna at the top of the net worth chart, along with the Razor. She's just riding around. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiance and now here comes a push a little bit into mid here. There are four. Here comes the snowball. Snowball onto Razor. He's going to get nightmared by the Bane. And the Shackle Shot going to miss. There's a focus fire. Uh, pretty much everything being thrown down by Frank. Almost taking down Sika. Siki, Siki, trying to get away. Siki does not get hit by the power shot once again. And now the Fiend's Grip on Minerva. Will get taken down. There is a Shackle Shot on the Bane. Not going to be in time though. And the Ice Shard is going to finish him off. That is the return kill for Frank. Here comes the call down right onto the top of the Luna. Luna gets hit. There's a shot, shot onto the mat and one of his creeps. Oh, there's a Chronosphere on too. And there's a Snowball in by the Tusk. H got taking some damage, but he still has that time hop. Time hop back to full health. And Matt's still alive. Um, only the Tusk going down so far. And now Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter. He's using that Rocker Barge, but it doesn't matter. H got gets a kill. A death photo. And now H God almost going down, not quite just yet. The gyrocopter uh, ended up going down, so it's a three for one on the mid lane and the tier one tower uh, about to go down. Uh, the mid tier one tower goes down. Luna looks for a kill, not gonna get it onto that Phoenix. Phoenix being a little bit of elusive there, but. Extremist get the tier one and they get out. XP and gold graph still going in favor of Extremist right there. Three kills to twelve. Looking pretty good in this grand final. Already up one game to zero. And a win would take them into the qualifier to the Shanghai Major. Taking one of those the last spot there as a first spot already taken by Mineski. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Now H God. Setting a sight on the bottom lane. And a couple more heroes from the Dire. Gonna be sitting around that bottom lane as well. Gyrocopter walking up. This might not be the best for place for him. Razor puts down the link and the TP's going to come out. Bane not gonna be in range for a nightmare or anything, so the gyrocopter gets out. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. The bottom Dyer's tier one tower goes tower down. Is under attack. And Luna awaits in the mid lane, which is getting pushed down by the Phoenix. And the Bane gonna get hit with the call down here comes the phoenix side lots of tps on the mid lane the eclipse from the luna goes in and it uh, decides to hit some creeps for the fun of it uh and uh now baccarino the supernova goes around luna gonna go down and now bane in trouble frank showing some life here nightmare comes through still ticking down uh matt's on the killing spree killing the dazzle there and uh the bane also goes down 
Uh, mid tower in trouble. Shen army still uh, trying to do some work. H god looking for a chrono, not gonna find it. H God running around here. And they're going to gank some of those radiant creeps in the jungle. Um let's take a look at the items. Haven't done that for a while. Tusk going towards that mechanism. Wind Ranger trying to get an Aghanim Scepter. You know, really no big items on Frank at all. Uh meanwhile Siki has that casual ogre club and a Sanjanyasha. And Luna's going towards that BKB. Uh, Rocket Barrage onto the Chen who just placed a word down. Getting pretty low. Uh, will he get any help? Yes, here's the Chen army and the mechanism. <laughs> that chases a gyrocopter right away. Uh, here comes Tuscan with the snowball onto the Razor. The Shackle Shot going to miss, but here comes the Cawdown. They're trying to take this Razor down so hard, the Phoenix gonna use that Supernova Power Shot, finishes off the Razor. And, uh, now the Dire trying to get out. The Phoenix Supernova not gonna hit anything. Shackle Shot onto the Bane. Bane in trouble. Rocket Barrage. Tusk takes him down. And now Luna running for her life. Um, they still left that Tier 1 Tower up, so they might want to get that. Uh, Luna, Lucent Beam in the back. Um, Shen army ready to go for... Okay, they're just going to sit there. Um, Chronosphere on a couple for the uh, Faceless Void. He puts the time dilation down as well. Eclipse going through. Nice snowball save by the by the Tusk, but it doesn't matter. The Gyrocopter goes down, and here comes the mechanism by the Chen. Uh, Godot, Godot in, pro in uh, trouble. Last uh, Moonglaive from the Luna. Takes the kill, and now Minerva trying to run away. Smack in the back by the Faceless Void. Faceless Void... Doing some damage. He time walks it off again, and now Minerva eventually goes down. Triple kill for the Luna. And now the Dire already in front of that tier 2 tower. They can quickly take it down. 7 kills to 16 in favor of Extremist. And they're getting the gold lead as well. Let's take a look at the XP. Still in favor of Extremist by about 7,500. Um, tier 2 tower about to go down. Phoenix dives in, not going to get interrupted by anybody. They don't really care right now. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. And, uh, well, at least Radiant gets something. They get a top tower. Um, QZ running around with the Luna and the Alpha Wolf. She's got the BKB and the Helm of the Dominator. Uh, still, it is 9 seconds at this point. Was used in the last fight. And Shen working on that Aghanim Scepter. So Extremis looking pretty good right now. And uh, they could be in control of this match on their way to the qualifier to the Shanghai Major. Uh, Faceless Void. Work on a Vladimir's Offering. Also has that Blink Dagger. Pretty popular on build on the Voids right now. And Siki, what are they going to do about him? The BKB, going to get built up. And he also has that Sanjanyasha. Fairly tanky right now. Can't really do too much about him. And the Roshan is available with the Chen. Could be pretty easy for Extremis to take. As well as that Luna. Um, on the bottom lane, Age God getting scoured out by the Phoenix. Phoenix has a Hand of Minus and two Robes of the Magi. I don't know why you need two. You only have one body, Phoenix. In any case, uh, Faceless Void just trying to farm up some creeps in the bottom lane. And, well, 
Our action's cooled down for a bit here. We got a smoke. Could be going for that Roshan, which will turn into another push for Extremis as they have a pretty big lead. Yasha finished on the Luna. And now the Chen army goes into the Roshan pit. A one centaur stun onto Roshan. Two centaur stun onto Roshan. Rock in Roshan's face. Lincoln's pop. There's another rock. And he slams the ground in anger. So the first Roshan of the match going to Extremis Dota. Luna picking up that Aegis and they're going to mill around for a moment. Chen goes towards the bottom lane, turns around. Luna might be looking for a pick off. And instead she's trying to just going to look for more creeps. Extremis don't really feel like pushing the bottom lane right now. Seeky gonna push out mid. They don't want uh, Frank to be taking anything behind their back. There are a lot of creeps in the ancient stack for Gyro to farm up. And right now, he is in the dire jungle, working. He's got quite a bit of gold, three thousand, not bad. But the rest of Extremis now, they're going to bot, and they can easily push in that bottom tier two tower. Meanwhile, Gyrocopter, he's hitting hop, and it's already taken a lot of damage, forcing out the four to five from the dire. And will they TP back to defend it from the solo Gyrocopter? They could. Bottom tower goes down quickly, but so does top. Extremis decide they want to keep on going. They want to keep on going in bottom. They have the Aegis on the Luna. They can just put her right up on the high ground and start hitting things. And that she does. Once they take this tower, it's going to be pretty easy for them to take anything else in the base. In addition to hitting those waves all around. QZ taking a lot of damage. There's a mechanism. Going to keep her safe. Chen army soaking up the damage in front of the Luna. There's a nice shackle shot onto her. And uh, the weave on cooldown. Call down on top of QZ. QZ pops the BKB, trying to take out that Phoenix. The gyrocopter taken down by the Luna in the end. And now Phoenix out of the bubble is going to die. And now Godot in trouble. About to go down, does go down. It's three down. It's double kill for Siki. And they're just going to go right. Okay, they could get the Dazzle. Dazzle with the Grave. Uh, Shackle Shot going to miss. Triple kill for Siki. And more importantly, the bottom set of racks going down, and this could be at 7 kills to 20, 4 down, no 1 by Bev available, only on the Dazzle. Is this it for Frank? They had such a run out in the round of 32 in the first qualifier. Now they get to the final. Is it going to be 2 and out for them? Extremis, they were denied the first time by Mineski. Is this their time? Do they get into the qualifier to the major? Two sets of racks down. Frank, waiting for their chance. There is a top tier 2 tower still up for Frank, so they can't take the Mega Creeps just yet. They have to push those Creeps back in the top lane, so that buys a little bit of time for Frank. They see the Ancient stack. Oh, this Luna, this Faceless Void, they could easily take it. They're going to go in on it, and this is going to be a lot of money going their way, and nothing for the Gyrocopter. He's got the BKB now. He doesn't have buyback. Let's take a look at the rest of the buybacks. Um, for the Radiant, only on the Dazzle. And everybody else, a little bit away from it. The Phoenix is the closest, but the important one's not really there. The winner of this match goes into, well, if Extremis win this match, they'll go into the qualifier to the major, taking that last spot. And if, if Frank win, it goes to a deciding game three. Extremis looking pretty good. XP definitely in their favor. Same with gold. 20,000 at 25 minutes. Luna comes down that top lane on her Nova. She's still got that age of 7, 1, and 7. 2,800 gold in the bank. It seems like nothing can stop Extremis right now. They don't even have their whole team there. Chen, not even close at the Ancients. Um, Wind Ranger finds a kill onto the Faceless Void. Somehow she's dominating, but the, the top tier ta 2 tower does go down. And now it's only the tier 3 remaining in front of that Rax. Razor looking for something onto the Phoenix. Not going to get hit by that static field. Doesn't even have to dive away. And now Chen getting his army up. He's got the Ancients. What is going to stand against this onslaught? Chen going to push out mid. The top gang push out as well by the Gyrocopter. Right now he's got that Yasha. 1500 gold. He does have that buyback now. Extremists, they can't throw the game right now. The Faceless Void kill not helping them at all. 
So uh, they need to play a little bit better now. They need to not make those mistakes. It's going to be good practice for them should they make it to the next stage. Luna, invisibility rune. Could be waiting for someone to go to the secret shop or to find the courier. And uh, she's also got 3,800 gold. What will she go for next? Could be a big item. Might be a butterfly. We'll see. Maybe she goes for something weird. Uh, the Aegis is going to expire with that big noise. I love that they put that in. 27 minutes into the game. Here comes the push down the top lane. We got the smoke by the Radiant Frank. They're looking for this. They know what they need to do. This is it. Win or lose, this is going to be the fight right here. Can they do it? Smoking to get broken by the Bane. Here comes the Snowball. Blink away by the Bane. The Tusk is so far in. Here's a Nightmare. Oh, man. Eclipsed by the Luna. There's a call down. BKB the by the Gyrocopter. And, oh, the Tusk is down. It's not looking good for Frank the Luna, but the Luna is dying. And that's a Mega Kill Streak down. Gyrocopter went down as well. He has a buyback. Uh, H-God gained the Chronosphere onto uh, the Wind Ranger. She has buyback as well. It's GG. That's it. That's it. Extremis, they go on to the qualifier to the major in the SEA region, and that is going to be the game. Uh, congrats to the teams. And, uh, well, Extremis showing that they're not going to be denied this time by Mineski. And they were, were they, uh, well, they made it this time. And consistency is one of the things that can be spoken for, definitely. So, um, that'll do it for me. I'm Pythian. Oh, time to sleep. I'm like so revved up right now. Thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. And as always, cheers. I'm going to bed.